Hey Legacy Traders, it's Tim Key with Option Legacy. I wanted to make a quick video for you guys to see, or to really show you guys um, how to do some back testing. So I know many of you are learning and it's all about chart, 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 charting. And you're charting but you're finding, hey, I don't have enough time to actually chart during the open markets and to make decisions and I'm finding that's a challenge. Perfect, been there, done that. So let's say you're charting and you're looking back and for instance, we're looking at Johnson & Johnson over here, and you're like, hmm, this thing had this strong uprun, and then, oops, that's not what I wanted to do, um, and then it hits the, you notice some uh, resistance up here to the top, and you go, hey, let's, let's chart out this resistance there, boom, and then as you notice that it hits a second resistance here, you're now looking for support and you come down here and maybe somewhere right around here, you decide, okay, that's some support. And this looks like it could be a prime candidate for an iron condor. Well, what you can do is you can actually come in using think or swim and you can back test this and you'd put on, it's, would give you the exact same results as if you put on an iron condor, let's say on this day here. Boom. So you notice, hey, it hit that resistance. It's coming down. It's got a long look to the upside. You've identified some support down here. So on, if we have confirmation, it continues down. Let's put on an iron condor and see what happens um, on July 24th. So what you would do is you'd come over to Think or Swim. You need to open it up. You're going to come to, uh, is it Analyze? Yep. Hit Analyze. And then you're going to hit Think Back. Analyze, think back. Then over here, we're going to type in the actual ticker. And over here on the calendar, we're going to go back to that July 24th of this year. And we're going to look for just as if we were putting on the trade on that day. So we're going to look for about 30 to 60 days worth of time. We're going to find that um, individual option chain, click it, and let's just put on a iron condor for that time. So we're going to look for our 15 delta, right around the 15 delta, so probably about here. And then we'll look for a, that's not going to be a big enough spread, so we're going to come out of that one. So we're going to go down to our 16 delta, and then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. I think you have to actually go six. Um, so we put on the put side of the iron condor. Now let's go put on the call side of the iron condor. Looking at our delta for 13 to 6, or around a 16. We're going to come here to the 13 on the 138 strike. We're going to hit the bid. Go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for 5 point spread. And then over here, uh, Thinkorswim is not the most user friendly, although it does have this valuable asset of Thinkback. Um, so you have to actually do the math right here. So the red ones are the credits that you're going to receive. So 50 plus 30 equals 80. And then the green ones are the debits you're going to pay minus 18 minus three. That's a 59 cent credit per contract that you have here. So let's say we put on two contracts. You have to adjust all these here. Um, and then we're going to use this profit and loss date to give us a time period of when um, the trade would actually go on. So let's just go forward and see how it performs. And then you'll see over here on the profit and loss open, this is going to show you your performance. So we're going to click through a few days and we're going to look over here on this profit and loss open to find out how the trade is actually performing and see if it's making us some money. So I know just from experience that most of my trades make money about the seventh or eighth day out. So let's just go boom, eight days out and see what we have here. We have about a $70 return minus 14. That is a 50% return on investment, which is, as you know, we always look to get out at a 50% return on investment. So right here on August 1st, look, it stayed right inside of our um, iron condor short legs that we found and... Um, it gave us a 50% profit within seven days. So this is just a quick video. You can use um, 
I encourage you to use Option House for the charting technique just because it's so fluid. You can uh, check and adjust it, you can squeeze it. Um, and then once you've found something, you go, oh, that looks like a good trade that I could have, would have, should have entered into. Then come over here to Think or Swim, um, type in your ticker number up here, um, and then type in the date that you would be looking for there, and then go to your option chain for the right day times and look for your deltas and you can go from there. I use this tool a lot when I first got started because I just wanted to understand what charts were doing. And so I would say, oh, could this work, could that work? And then honestly, I'd come over here and sometimes it wouldn't and it'd be a loss. I'd be like, well, I'm glad I didn't put that trade on. But these two tools together can be a great resource for you guys um, to continue to learn as you chart, 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 um, continue your charting because it will improve your ability to um, kind of ride that bicycle with no training wheels or no handlebars. <laughs> that was a little bit of song for you. Um, all right, guys, that's what I got for you. Until next time.